So you're controlling a very small house. Oh, look at that. So you have a garage and door And unfortunately, opener. there's a there's an LED right here, a very bright LED that is supposed to be shining over here. Uh, yep. And I got sensor. this out of a, um, a solar light, you know, a lawn light, that I stole the LED and over here is the photo resistor. Is it just standard photo this resistor? Points, yeah, it just connected the two and, and normally when you press this and the door starts to go down, and you wave your hand in front of it, it'll go back up just okay. like a regular door. Would. Here, let's fake it. Oh, sure. Well, here, put it on the inside. So. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how much technology we can cram into a garage door opener. <laughs> let's see if kind of aim it in the right direction. Yeah. All right. Okay. And I'll get in the way. There it goes. There it goes. Sweet. <laughs> We should put blades on this to make it like more challenging. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you could lose a hand. So this, this is a garage door opener. So I walked in a couple seconds late here, but you've got a Netduino Plus, it looks like, and you've got a Fez Spider, and everybody's just kind of playing happily here. Yeah, this, this is what simulates the garage itself, the garage door opener. So there's a servo motor over here that this is controlling. Yeah. So this acts like your garage door. Yep. And the whole point is is not to be doing that part, it's to be doing this part, which is to control everything and know whether the door's up or down. Okay, yes. And all that. So there's two sensors in here, upper and lower. And these are touch sensors. And right now it's it's up, so um, we can tell whether the door's up or down. So we can we can know that for one thing. And if we want to give it a command to say, send, put the door down, and the door is already down, we can ignore the command. Or if it's up like this, we can send the command and send it down. Cool. And the other cool thing that we have is that because this has so much more capability than this, um, we have a, a web server built into this. Yeah. So over here, I've got... So I could open your garage door from a random place <laughs> on the internet. Correct. So over here, I've got a browser open, and I can do the same thing where I just send a browser or a uh, an HTTP command, and I can open or close the door. I can see if I can find out if the door is open or the door is closed, or all of that. Very cool. I see you have, you've got the Ethernet stuff here and everything else. Yeah. And there's your there's your hub, huh? Yeah. Great. If you put Bluetooth on it, you can put Bluetooth in your car, and then when Bluetooth came in kind of in range of your driveway, automatically open your door up. Well, see, that's where we're going with this, and we're going to be, the part that you don't see and the part that we're, we don't have going right now is the part that would be running in Azure to be able to control multiple devices, not just this one. Um, I, the software that I built for the Gadgeteer inside of there is um, a finite state machine. So I've got a particular, a separate machine for this, and I can have another one for however many things I want to control, whether it's the front door, uh, lights, or whatever. So I can determine whether they're on or off, or open or closed, or, or whatever. And the state machine can act appropriately, or allow me to do the appropriate things when um, that's appropriate. So, for example, back here, there's a, uh, a switch. And if I flip that switch, I can press this all day long and it's not going to do anything. So that's a hardware lock. And the finite state machine, when I flip that, flip to a lock state and will not let any command do anything until it gets out of the lock state. So when I flip it back, then I can press the button and it'll do whatever. So behind the scenes, it's flipping from state to state, open to close and all that. Have you tried actually hooking it to a real garage door yet, or are you still just... Uh, we did, yeah. Yeah. The garage door actually is like one of the hardest things right now. Yeah. But it's just really hard to bring a real garage door here to the conference. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's, I'm, that's I'm just curious because... This. And this board right here um, is one that uh, I designed using Eagle. Mm -hmm. And um, this is compatible with Gadgeteer. We have another one that's that's uh, Duino compatible, so it's you know it's a shield that would go into a a Duino, whether it's Net or R. Um, but this one is Gadgeteer specific, so it's got a cable that runs to it. 
and this is what controls the door, uh, flips the switch. There's there's a uh, solid state relay on here, so that's what turns the motor on and off, as well as uh, the sensors, so the up and down sensors. So this gives all the information to the controller, and the controller tells them what to do. Is there a way to keep it up? Yeah. I, have, I have a bunch of sensors. I wonder if there's a way to keep it up. <laughs> so, like, by the time the wind is on, I want to 